It's CES 2018 and we're at the Honda booth looking at robots. I'm calling it the great robot explosion of 2018, but that's more of a metaphor, I hope. Hey, you're a robot guy, right? A little bit, yeah. A little bit, you dabble. Okay, so what are we looking at right there? What is this thing? So this is Honda's 3E D18 concept. And the idea behind this is we've combined our ATV, which has this 30 year history in the US being super helpful. And we've combined it with this emerging autonomous technology to create this like ultimate tool. So you have the rails on top, you can put all kinds of different attachments on there. Anything from simple thing like a tool rack, all the way up to maybe like a Honda snowblower attachment or a snowplow attachment on the front that can plow your driveway all night while you sleep during a huge snowstorm. Oh, that's that's really neat. Um, and I also noticed uh, pneumaticless tires. Yeah, uh, that's kind, kind of, of indestructible, little... right? So you don't have to worry about flats. Okay, uh, obvious question is, um, is this the kind of thing that we're just sort of having fun with at CES, or is there some sort of future intent? No, we're quite serious about it, and we're gonna be doing a big round of research after CES to really understand where the consumers wanna use it and how they wanna use it. Uh, one question, can I use it to vanquish my enemies? Yeah. Honda actually doesn't sell to the military, so that probably won't be Oh, no, be no, 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 I'm talking about me. It's just personal yeah, enemies? Just personal. Yeah, yeah potentially. Yeah. We're still hoping, of course, they don't become self-aware. But honestly, Honda's whole concept around robotics is that it's not man versus machine. It's man and machine versus task or versus problem. And really, the vision for Honda is that the robots will kind of eventually understand us and we'll be able to kind of communicate with them. That's one thing I've noticed about this design, and it's a perfect segue into the two other robots that are here, is that it's very friendly and welcoming. Come meet my friend, Robbie. Hey, Robbie, I'd like to introduce you to my good friend, D18. Aww. It's a Honda bot. Aww. Can you wave hi? Hi, D18. hi D18. Okay, so what is this friendly bot? It could be a coffee cart. It could be an ice cream stand, a DJ booth. It could be a water dispensing bot. Uh, I'm enjoying the Honda water, but what I really would like to do is, is ride it. Is that a possibility? It's currently plugged in, but oh, it is rideable. Okay, okay, cool. As a former S2000 owner, I kind of feel it's my duty to drive all the Hondas, but uh, maybe we'll save that for later. So, but the super expressive face thing is, is so interesting to me. Well, the best one for that is really the A18. That's a heck of a segue. Let's go look at the A18. Hey, buddy, what's going on? You know, we've had the Osimo robot for decades. And that robot, you know, people always wanted to touch it. And they always wanted to interact with it. But it really wasn't designed for that. And so Honda wanted to create a robot that you could, you could hug, you could interact with, and it could kind of be like a pet in your home. Can I hug so it? You can hug it, yeah. Can Very I hug it right now? Yes. <laughs> Aww, it's nice. So it has 30 different, over 30 different uh, facial expressions that it can use. It can cry, it can blush. You can say hello. So besides making me want to take care of it, uh, what is the function for a robot like this? Like how, how It's really just designed to be a companion at this point in your home and a friend. It, you could interact with it, ask it questions, things like that, maybe take it shopping with you and it could help you get around. One of these days I'm going to be old, I've got all those enemies, nobody wants to be my friend. Yeah, <laughs> you get it. Okay, um, is there any smart question that I haven't asked yet? The only thing I would mention is that, you know, we're here at CES, we're looking for tech technology partners, so if there's anybody out there that wants to partner with Honda to develop some of the technology or the autonomy, or even any businesses that might have a use case for some of these products we're creating, we'd love to hear from them. I've got some really great ideas in, in the vengeance range of, of uh, concepts, so, so we'll, we'll talk. Cut the, cut the video. I think I get to ride this one. Let's come with me. Lift up. Lift up. Okay. Oh boy. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, Mike. Whee!